Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Uh, before I start today's video, I'm just going to mention that this is like a new filming setup for me. It's on my work laptop. I thought I'd give it a go, um, see if it's any better than, because usually I record all my videos on my phone. But I thought that I should just see how the quality is, if it's any better, if you prefer me to do videos like this when I can. Um, etc. That sort of thing. So I just thought I'd do a tester. I have got quite a lot to go through. I ordered quite a lot last week, which came at the start of this week, just before I made the last video. So I didn't have to, well, just after rather. So I didn't get around to showing them. They are all mainly Warner Brothers films because, as I have mentioned in a previous video, I have been collecting um, Warner Brothers Blu rays just because a lot of them I've not seen and I've been interested in watching, and it's just the way that I'm thinking of collecting at the moment but yeah as I say just let me know about the video quality lighting etc and if you'd rather me do it as I normally do it then after this video I will if you'd like me to do it like this but with better lighting just let me know anything because any suggestions are helpful so I can get the best possible videos out to you but let's get started anyway so first up of the Warner Brothers ones that I ordered off of pretty much all of them off of Music Magpie I think but they came really tightly packed, so the top cases were pretty much crushed, as you will see in a minute. First one is Firewall with Harrison Ford and Paul Bettany. Been interested in watching this for quite a long time. I really like Harrison Ford. It's got quite an interesting concept and just one that looked quite interesting. I believe he plays Harrison Ford plays a banker and he's blackmailed into stealing money from his secure bank system that he's created, designed, um, because they've basically kidnapped his family. I believe that's what the basic spot is. But the hub was broken when I got it, which is unfortunate, but as long as I keep it flat, it should be okay. But yeah, that is Firewall. Next up is one from the early 2000s which has got a great cast and I don't know a whole lot about. Maybe alright, maybe really bad. Don't know it could go either way really. But that is Swordfish starring John Travolta, Hugh Jackman, Halle Berry and Don Cheadle. About computer hackers I think. And they steal money. Um, I think that's the basic synopsis of the film. I'm just checking to see if there was any damage on this case but I can't see any so it must be alright. Oh there was a little bit of damage on the inside but everything's pretty much still intact so yeah that is Swordfish. Next up is kind of a box set. It's two films in one, same director um, and they came out around the same time and that is Flags of Our Fathers and Letters from Iwo Jima. Yeah. So these are both Clint Eastwood films that he did back in 2006. One on the American side and the other on the Japanese side. So I'm definitely interested in checking these out because see what they're like, each of them, which one I prefer more. So, uh, but yeah, box is a bit tatty, but I think I got this for £4. So can't really complain, got the two films and they're all in good condition. So that's okay at the end of the day for me. Next up we have Life As We Know It. This is a really good film. It's like, it's kind of a romantic comedy. I, I, yeah, I'd say it's a romantic comedy, but there are elements of drama in it towards the start. Uh, it's just a really heartwarming film, I think, and I just really get a lot of joy out of it. It's um, also got a very early role, well not very early, but it's got an early role from Melissa McCarthy. By early, I mean before she like broke out so uh yeah but this one case is a bit destroyed at the top but all in all not too bad so yeah that is life as we know it next up was the one with the case that's in the worst condition and that is Syriana with George Clooney, Matt Damon and Jeffrey Wright uh, for starters it's in a slim case now I'm not sure if this is supposed to come in a slim case or not but I don't believe Warner Brothers do slim cases. I could be wrong, correct me if you know if I'm wrong or not. Um, the case on the side has been battered in. 
and it's just it's just a bit of a tatty case really but I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be like or not let me know it's a film I've wanted to check out for a while George Clooney won his Oscar for this about oil and money I think so yeah I look forward to checking this out soon next up we have a Michael Bay film and that is The Island this is Ewan McGregor and Scarlett Johansson and it's basically set in well this film came out in 2005 and it's set in the year 2019 obviously it's not like what 2019 was like but they always make films like that and it basically follows Lincoln, um, Lincoln Six Echo played by Ewan McGregor and Jordan Two Delta played by Scarlett Johansson who live in this like facility they've never really gone outside and they're told that one day they'll get to go to the island which is where everything all your dreams come true but then they discover the truth and they're going to try and stop it because they just want to be them I can't really spoil it because it's better to just go in and watch it I've only seen half of it and the half I saw I liked um, I don't know if it's a very long film I mean it's just over two hours but I didn't have time to finish the rest of it, so I look forward to checking the rest of this out soon. Next up is a weird one because I don't have any of these in my collection, and I'm pretty sure when I ordered this film, it was not on this format. But and this does not mean I'm going to start collecting these because I don't like them. I think they're a waste of money and just a waste in general. But I got this because I wanted to watch the film. Didn't get, as I say, didn't order the steelbook, but the steelbook came, told you what it is now. But that is Sweeney Todd the Demon Barbara of Fleet Street, which I did watch the other night. I can appreciate the film and everything in it, but it's just not for me. I didn't like the music in it, I didn't like the story, I didn't like the way that just overall it was done, but I can appreciate the cinematography, which is great. And I can also appreciate the um, acting, which is fantastic. It's just, it's not my type of film. I didn't particularly enjoy it. I wanted to watch it because of the cast and because it's Tim Burton and I am starting to get more into Tim Burton. But not one for me, really. May I watch it 20 years in the future? Possibly. But as of now, I can't see myself re-watching this anytime soon. It's that Sweeney Todd. Next up is one I've been after for a while. It's actually quite an underrated film. I don't know if it got a really big release yet. I doubt it very much. It's a Steven Soderbergh film. And it stars Matt Damon. Obviously who starred in the Oceans films. And that is The Informant. Which is based on a true story. Uh, it's basically about corporate whistleblower. And he was the biggest corporate whistleblower at the time in US history. And it's kind of like a, I don't know if I would say black comedy, kind of a black comedy. There is a lot of comedy in it, but it is quite serious as well. But I really like it. I like the way that it's done. I think the cast is great. And overall, I just think it's a really entertaining film. So that is The Informant. Next up, we have a Western starring Brad Pitt and Casey Affleck. And that is The Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Again, one I've been wanting to watch for a while. Quite a long film, 160 minutes. But obviously it's about um, the outlaw Jesse James. And basically how his gang um, progressed and what they did. And that's all I really know, to be honest. It's one that I say I've wanted to check out for a while. So I will be watching this fairly soon. So that's Assassination of Jesse James by the coward Robert Ford. Why such a long title, I don't know, but maybe a good film. Next up is a remake of a film. I think this is like the third remake of this particular film. But this one I wanted to check out for a long time because the cast. And I like the look of the trailer. This one stars Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig. And that is The Invasion. Obviously a remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Yeah, that's all that I can really say about it. It's um, a, a new take on the... Um, original film I believe in this film I don't know I've not seen the originals but I believe if you fall asleep you kind of like go you have to like stay awake basically because otherwise they'll take over you uh, and they both 
Nicole Kidman and Daniel Craig both play like psychiatrists who are trying to find a way to stay awake and find a way to stop this invasion basically so yeah that is the invasion next up I realized I didn't have many Robin Williams films in my collection and this is one I've not even seen um, but looks like it could be quite a lot of fun and that is licensed to wed just has John Krasinski and Mandy Moore in it so it's one that I shall be checking out fairly soon because I do like my comedies and I do really like Robin Williams and it's a short film and it looks like it'll be quite fun so that is licensed to wed next up is a film that I think is 21 years old and I got this because the cast is good and it just intrigued me didn't even really know this had a blu-ray release that is Boiler Room with Giovanni Ribisi and Vin Diesel also has Ben Affleck in as it says on the back and this is basically see from the take I'm getting on this it's sort of like Wall Street but not like more modern and a, diff, a little bit different I don't know correct me if I'm wrong if you've seen it it just intrigued me the cast and it looked like it'd be a pretty decent film and I got it at a good price so that is Boiler Room next up we have a romantic comedy with Drew Barrymore and Justin Long and that is going the distance I really like romantic comedies this looks like it'd be quite a good one so I'm very happy to have this um, check it out not much else I can say about it. don't really know too much about it so yeah that is going the distance a lot of these are complete blind buys that I'm just going based on the title and who's in it Next up we have another Clint Eastwood film, one that I think I have seen but quite a long time ago. This stars Sean Penn, Tim Robbins, Kevin Bacon, Lawrence Fishburne, Marsha Gay Harden and Laura Linney and that is Mystic River. Just sounded like a really good film, uh, sounds like one that's going to be quite a good one. Uh, it's got quite a interesting synopsis, basically follows three friends who are brought together after years apart um, because something bad happens and they're all at different points in their life one of them I think one of them is a cop one of them um, is a suspect in this particular thing that happens so but it is from what I remember a really good film so I'm looking forward to watching this again soon that's Mystic River then we have another Brad Pitt film and one I've wanted to get for quite a long time and that is The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Obviously this is also a David Fincher film. This is quite a long film, 166 minutes, so I am going to have to try and find the time to watch this. But as I say, it's one I've wanted to watch for quite a long time. So I am going to push this to the top of my watch list. Let me know what you think of it down below. And then we have a couple of 4Ks, only three, because I have got quite a lot more on the way. This one, reason I got it, because I think it's okay, people seem to absolutely hate this film. Yes, the true cut of this film is definitely superior, but I also really think that this is just a decent film. It's alright to watch, because it's not long, and it's just like a switch your brain off type film. And as I say, the reason I got this is because it was really cheap, I think it was £6, and that is Justice League. Obviously this is the original cut, not the, well, yeah, the first cut of the film that came out, not the true cut. But it's okay, um, I don't have major problems with it. As I've mentioned in my videos in the past, I try and see the good out of all films, try and get as much enjoyment out of all films as I can. There are a few exceptions to that that I just can't enjoy, but um, this one I think is okay. Um, so, yeah, thought I might as well get that. And another one which is possibly the cheapest 4K I've ever bought. Um, and it's a film that I think is really good. And this is the case where the sequel is better than the first film. Although the first film of this was also really good. That is Paddington 2. Really good film. I think Hugh Grant as the villain. Really good. And it's just got a great British cast. I mean you've got, as I say, Hugh Grant. Brendan Gleeson, Hugh Bonneville, Sally Hawkins, Judy Walters, Jim Broadbent, Peter Capaldi, 
and obviously Ben with your voices Paddington so yeah very happy to have this and so I can give it a rewatch again stay tuned because the first one may be on its way so yeah that is Paddington 2 and the final 4k I got um, was one that was going cheap yesterday the day before the day before yesterday may still be at the same price and it's a new release and it's a film I've wanted to watch for a very long time and that is almost famous this includes the theatrical cut and the bootleg cut of the film uh, the bootleg cuts like an extra hour so I'd definitely be watching that one because obviously there's a lot more to it but as I say it's one that I've been wanting to watch for a long time and I think it was like only 13 quid which is really good for a new 4k release so yeah I shall be checking that one out soon then we have another Warner Brothers one which I ordered separately to the others um, I did watch this earlier this year and thought it was a pretty good thriller I don't I think this is out of print this is the director's cut of the film but I managed to get this cheap so I'm happy to have this in the collection and that is Taking Lives which stars Angelina Jolie and Ethan Hawke and she basically is an FBI profiler who is basically assigned to try and track down this serial killer that's taking excuse me taking people's identities from them after killing them so uh, yeah recommend that one because it's a pretty decent watch so yeah that's taken lives two more the final blu-ray I got this month was to add to my Christmas collection I've ordered loads that are coming this week so you'll see that next week uh, this is really good um, and I just really like this Christmas film uh, it's a Richard Curtis film so and I really like Richard Curtis that is love actually with a nice iconic moment slip I think this is like the second iconic moment slip I've got I think I've got this in Wizard of Oz not really aiming to collect them but if they come with the film that I want so be it but yeah really enjoyable Christmas film great um, British cast uh, you got Hugh Grant, Liam Neeson, Colin Firth, Laura Linney, Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, Kira Knightley, Martin McCutcheon, Bill Nye and Rowan Atkinson so it's got a really great cast so I should definitely be checking this out before Christmas and the final one which is a DVD and is a complete blind buy don't know anything about it but it's got really good main cast really old, it's old release but I thought I'd go for something a bit different uh, that is The Last Valley with Michael Caine and Omar Sharif don't know too much about this, I'm just reading the back now it seems to be about a nomad who comes across a beautiful village um, and the community is unaffected by the war that's going on around it and he's given the opportunity to lodge there for the winter um, in return for him protecting them and then an army comes led by Michael Caine who discover it and want to basically destroy it that's basically what it's about so definitely look forward to check it out because it sounds like a really good film and that is it so that is everything I got this month not this month sorry this week as I say I've got more to come I think I'm mainly just expecting 4Ks and the Christmas films there will be quite a few next week I am um, on holiday next week annual leave technically is what it's called so I hopefully will be getting out to places to buy some stuff because I've had to do a lot of online ordering the last few weeks so might come back with quite a lot so we should just have to see but that is it so don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it as I said let me know if you think this is a good way of filming videos do you think the lighting just needs to be changed or would you just completely prefer me to do it how I usually do it let me know if you dislike the video then by all means give it a dislike but um, let me know why you disliked it so I can improve it on the next video uh, comment down below anything everything have you seen any of these films if you have and I haven't let me know what you think of them down below recommendations always appreciate them uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and turn your notification bell on so you know I have a new video uploaded on the channel and that is it so until next time everyone take care Goodbye.